Hello everybody. Well, I would like to explain things before the lecture. So uh, this is uh, a slideshow uh, about uh, lecture three. As you see here, lecture three is divided uh, into two parts. The first part is entitled document format. And the second one is, uh, as you see here, is the works cited list. So this slideshow, uh, it's like um, it explains or it illustrates uh, things about uh, the heading and the title and uh, the illustrations and tables. And this is very important because for the rest, it's clear and I will explain it in the lecture. Uh, so... Uh, here, as you say, a document format, it's about the margins that you should respect and follow uh, the standard size of uh, the letters that you are going to use as a style when you write uh, a paper uh, on Microsoft Word. Uh, and it's about double space and how you are going to put the, the, in the, the indent and so on and so forth. Uh, as far as uh, the title is concerned or heading, so you should know that uh, when you write a title, you should capitalize the initials of uh, the title. Um, any word, noun, uh, even pronoun, adjective, adverb, and so on. But we have some few exceptions, like um, you cannot capitalize prepositions, you cannot capitalize articles, and you cannot capitalize coordinating conjunction, such as and. Uh, only if uh, you, you have a preposition or an article or a coordinating conjunction as the first word in the title. In this way, you should uh, capitalize it. So here we have some examples, as you see here. You see here, uh, on the road, out of Africa, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, uh, and Born to Run. You see here that we capitalize... Uh, we have capitalized on because it's the first uh, uh, word in the title, but we haven't uh, capitalized the because it's uh, an article and it's within the title, not uh, the starter of the title. Uh, another thing that I, I want to say here is about the heading. Uh, the heading level one, two, three, what's the difference between them? Uh, the heading level one, it means the general uh, title or heading. And then we have a specific uh, heading that is a part of that uh, general title. And then we have the third, it's a part, it's a specific uh, title that is a part of the general title or the general uh, heading. So uh, in this way, we should make distinction. We should put uh, the first level uh, in bold and in italics. We should keep uh, the second level as it is and we should put the third one uh, in italics. That's the, the way, according to Emirate, to make things uh, clear when it comes uh, when it comes to this uh, distinction. Uh, so, as far as tables and illustrations are concerned, I have explained things here, but I would like uh, I I put it here in brackets. Watch examples about the use uh, of tables and visual illustration on the Moodle platform, and that's uh, the link here. That's the link. It's uh, link A. You should uh, follow this one. So if you want uh, examples, go to the general source MLA 8 edition and introduction and overview and go down, please, to which page? Page, yeah, this is the MLA manuscript formatting, like here, uh, page 10, you are going to see things about the margins uh, the margins that you should uh, follow when it comes to uh, formatting uh, a paper in MLA. After that, you see here that we have uh, you should leave one inch in all sides and so on. And here uh, we have uh, an example about work cited. As you see here, uh, you should leave one inch uh, from all the sides. And then this is the first line of uh, the work the work cited entry. But with the second line or the third line, if you have a third line, you should put what we call a hanging indentation or hanging indent or a hanging uh, indention. 
which is you should leave an extra half an inch which is or which equals 1.27 uh, centimeter as you see here Uh, now we talk about uh, tables and illustration so if you have a table in your paper how this is the format you should uh, put uh, a head in we call it table one and it should be located above the table this is the only difference between uh, tables and uh, visual illustration we put table one and the title or the heading of uh, of that table uh, above the table as you see in the example and if you have a source you can write this source down the table as you see here source like you see here table 209 uh, yes 297 in digest of education and so on and so forth here so this is the source and if you have uh, you have only used this source with the, with the table and you haven't uh, uh, quoted from this source or paraphrased uh, information from this source in your paragraphs or what we call in-text citation here there is no need uh, to add this source in your works cited entry uh, another example here it's about uh, visual illustration as we see here this uh, odd strange uh, visual illustration in case you have picked this visual illustration from a book uh, so you should uh, first of all you should uh, give it uh, a label figure and here you can just put the abbreviation fig and then number one and after that you put a title for this visual illustration and as I said you should put this uh, fig or this heading under the visual illustration not above it's not like uh, the table or the case of the table yes and if you have a source you can add the source after uh, the title and that's all so these uh, are the examples that i would like to share with you and i insist that this link it's uh, link a it is uh, reserved for the first part of lecture three which is entitled document format in case you are interested in uh, things details about the second part of lecture three which is entitled uh, the works cited list go and click on the link of uh, uh, yes the link of b slideshow b